Hey everyone, welcome back to another SAT math problem. So this one says Ken is working this summer as a part of a crew on a farm. He earned $8 per hour for the first 10 hours he worked this week. Because of his performance, his crew leader raised his salary to $10 per hour for the rest of the week. Ken saves only 90% of his earnings from each week. What is the least number of hours he must work the rest of the week to save at least $270? So first off, let's just set up our our inequality right so he needs to save at least 270 dollars right 270 and so he can save more than 270 but he needs to save at least 270 so greater than or equal to and then his savings it says right here he saves only 90 percent of whatever he earns right so whatever we have with his uh, eight dollars per hour or ten dollars per hour for x amount of hours right all that is going to be cut down by 90%. So we can write a 0 0.9 on the outside and then a parentheses for all of our values on the inside, right? So the first thing we want to account for is his initial 10 hours that he worked. So he worked that initial 10 hours at a rate of $8 per hour, right? And therefore, since he worked 10 hours at $8 per hour, he made $80. So we can just write a flat $80 right there. Um, but then his performance increased, right? And therefore his salary also increased. It says his crew raised his salary to $10 per hour. Um, we don't know how many hours he, he's gonna work at $10 an hour, but we know that he must work a certain amount of hours to make at least $270, sorry, to save at least $270. Um, therefore, we can write this as plus 10, because that's the flat rate. And then we can just write x as the number of hours he works and x in our case in this inequality will represent the least number of hours he must work to save at least 270 dollars all right so now we just want to simplify this inequality right so 0 0.9 times 80 is going to give us a value of 72 0 0.9 times 10x is going to be plus 9x set this equal to uh, greater than or equal to 270 okay and so we want to subtract 72 from both sides because we're isolating for x. And so we get 198 is less than or equal to 9x. Divide both sides by 9, and we get a value of 22 is less than or equal to x. All right, so what does this represent? Well, this means that in order to save at least $270, they will have to work, or who's there? Ken. Ken will have to work at least 22 hours, right? Um, but this also means that, you know, if he works greater than 22 hours, he'll save more than $270. Um, but we just want to find the number of hours that it'll take him to save at least 270 hours, working the least number of hours, right? And the least number of hours in our case is right here, 22 hours, because that's the minimum that he has to work. And therefore, our answer choice is going to be C.